Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen in attendance, live and exclusive on Sky Sports across the UK, and to our boxing fans joining us around the world, we welcome you to the Cardiff International Arena for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Frank Warren Sports Network in association with Sky Sports and Showtime, as sponsored by Red Square. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization. The President Francisco Valcarcel, Supervisor Hans Hergner, along with the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge is Lord Brooks of Tremorfa. Our officials as appointed are as follows. Our physicians at ringside, Dr. David Davis, Dr. Jim Naismith, and Dr. Peter Fitzgerald. Timekeeper at the bell, we have Neil Berger. And judging this bout from ringside, we have from Wolverhampton, England, John Coyle. From Rouen, France, Robin Dolpierre. And from Los Angeles, California, in the United States, Dr. Lou Moret. A referee in charge of the action, working in this his 90th world title bout, Dave Paris. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Super Middleweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world from Cardiff, Wales, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left. He is fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing silver trunks with black trim, he joins us from Ozark, Alabama in the United States. He weighed in at the limit of 12 stone, or 168 US pounds, with a record of 25 wins, two losses and one draw. He has 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the number nine contender by the WBO. Please welcome the challenger and the two-time WBA super middleweight champion of the world, known as the Hammer from Bama, introducing Byron Gator Mitchell. And his opponent across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white trim, hailing from and representing his home of Newbridge, South Wales. He weighed in at 11 stone, 13 pounds, 167 US pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 35 wins, no losses, 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight he is making the 13th defense of his title. Here is the WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Boxing's Pride of Wales, introducing the undefeated Joe. Once again, a referee in charge, Dave Paris, now to give instructions. 12 rounds of action schedule. I'll give you both instructions in the dressing room. Remember, boys, break when I tell you to. Defend yourself at all times. Shake hands, boys. Good luck to you both. Although it doesn't always work out, this one has the makings of a very competitive fight. Calzaghi very aggressive. Mitchell doesn't run. Calzaghi probably has more in his arsenal. But will his inactivity be a factor? Seemingly an upgrade in competition for Calzaghi following his last two fights. And Calzaghi a completely different fighter than Mitchell's last opponent, Sven Aki. Here we go, the southpaw against the uh, conventional fighter, Calzaghi in the black with the white trim. And Mitchell all the way from Alabama to fight here in Cardiff, Wales in the silver with the, the black and white trim. Calzaghi very cognizant of the fact that Julio Cesar Green knocked Mitchell down twice in the first round of their fight 
And uh, he said, I may do something like that if I can find the right punch in the first round. And Mitchell, of course, uh, came back to stop Green in round four. Known as a, a comeback fighter, a resilient fighter. But the Welshman, an awkward southpaw to deal with. And uh, that is a push. Kalzaki has never uh, been down in his career. He slipped on uh, one of the advertisements. Kalzaki throws a lot of punches. A game predicated on aggression. Digging to the body there with the left hand. Now uppercuts. And back comes Mitchell with a flurry. Kalzaki fast and strong. And now while it's not a major attribute, has exhibited one punch power in the past. But his trademark is... His work ethic. Yeah, he throws lots of combinations. One of the problems Mitchell has sometimes had is when you throw combinations at him, he will just go into a cocoon and not counter punch and not do anything. And he told us before this fight, he's worked very hard not to do that against Calzaghe. That would uh, really put him in a deep hole in this fight. That's right. Mitchell, historically not a fast starter, but he's been training to start faster. Two good left hands by Calzaghe. But Mitchell is tough, determined, durable. Calzaghe continues to score. Calzaghe is squaring himself up to Mitchell. He's doing one of the things that I mentioned to Keezy should. There you see him. He's standing square up, and he is potentially going to get hit with a counterpunch. Mitchell very hittable. That's on display here as Calzaghe looks to end it in the first round. Barrage by the Welshman. Tremendous hand speed by Calzaghe. That's his stock and trade. He's making it count right now. Big left hand that connected by Calzaghe. Upstairs on Mitchell, and he goes right back to it. There you see Mitchell in that cocoon. When the combinations come, he's not punching back. This must feel like an extremely long round for the American. Now a right hand up top by Kalzaghi. You're going to hear some kind of a roar when the bell sounds. Byron Mitchell, not a good start, although early on, this was a dangerous situation for Calzaghe. He could easily have injured his ankle there. Thank goodness for everybody, he didn't. And after that, the rest of the round went very well for Calzaghe. Mitchell taking a lot of punches. And one of the things about Calzaghe, and you see it here, a variety of punches. Yes, they're kind of wide, but he always mixes in the uppercut and some pretty good left touch. Those are very wide punches, and they shouldn't all be landing against Mitchell. Calzaghe dominating the opening round and it's funny he said he'll he'll use his boxing skills more which he feels uh, doesn't get enough credit to open up his opponent but he went right to town he calls it controlled aggression and Mitchell told us defense would be crucial boy was he right and there wasn't much in that first round. The other thing that Mitchell knew he had to do was counterpunch. He tried, but was very inaccurate. And when I said that Calzaghe had squared himself up to Mitchell, he did on many occasions, but it was Mitchell's failure to be accurate with his punches uh, that really allowed Calzaghe to get away with it. And back comes Calzaghe again. Yeah, Mitchell intended to be very busy, but Calzaghe just won't give him the opportunity. He has been swarming. Not much movement. 
side to side by Mitchell. And he is not a fighter that's known for that kind of lateral movement. So, and, and in this tiny ring, we shouldn't see too much of it. So he's going to have to live or die on his power, which, let's remember, can show up later in a fight like it did against Frankie Lyles. And there's good body work by Mitchell. So as bad as oh, oh, wow. Down goes, goes. Kalzagi for the first oh. time in his career. And he gets up in wobbly fashion. Unbelievable. through the second round and you called it there's Mitchell he can punch Kazagi's in big trouble and he's not boxing Mitchell, oh, he Mitchell goes down a second round right out of Hollywood with a minute to go in round two a flash knockdown Mitchell got up quickly two knockdowns There's no question. And, you know, you see Mitchell there while he was distressed. He's one of the more stoic people you'll bump into. And uh, after this wild second round, you think there might be more complaints, but he's not complaining that much. We'll see. Yeah, well, now he is. Over there for a moment talking with the fight promoter, Frank Warren. As Calzaghe is saluted by the sellout crowd of about 5,000. Well, he certainly had the first round in his hip pocket. And then he came out blazing again in round two. He went down for the first time in his career. And then Mitchell out of nowhere went down. People have been wondering what would happen to Joe Calzaghe if he faced adversity. And he showed us tonight. He came back with great grit and determination. It wasn't the smartest way to fight that, that second round. He probably should have boxed, but because he was able to use his power to knock Mitchell down and ultimately get the fight stopped, you have to say that the way he responded to adversity was very, very special. I wonder, Al, if it was a fight time decision, something he saw or something he had planned to do going into the fight, abandoning boxing and going for the big punch. Well, we thought he would be aggressive. Al Benani, the trainer of uh, Byron Mitch, Mitchell, looking down, very distressed, trying to get our uh, attention, trying to protest, but uh, a gritty effort by Joe Calzaghe, and whatever we think of the stoppage, the fact of the matter is, he came back with tremendous determination and showed power because he wanted to knock out Byron Mitchell to show that he could do better against Mitchell and Svenatke, one of the other junior middleweight champions had done, who went the distance, and some people might have lost to Byron Mitchell. We saw some ferocious, electrifying exchanges there in round two as Calzaghe gets the congratulations from the crowd. So the updated numbers on Calzaghe, first of all, his 13th successful defense of the WBO Super Middleweight title, remains undefeated at 36-0, now 29 knockouts. And his record in world title fights now 14-0, and here in Cardiff, raised to 13-0. Byron Mitchell drops to 25-3, and three, loses two straight for the first time, all three losses in title fights. And Al Banani continues to uh, yell in our direction to try to get your attention. Well, he, he claimed, and this is Al Benani claiming it, that even the doctor somehow thought it was too quick. That's his statement. So we, we haven't talked to the doctor, but I, truthfully, I thought the referee stepped in too quickly because it, it, when he bounced off the ropes, he could have called that another knockdown of Mitchell and probably should have. He went against the ropes, and when you do that from a punch, if they think you're gonna go down, they should call it a knockdown. 
But to stop it without looking at the fighter, and that's what distresses me, when you don't take a moment, look at the fighter, give him a chance to respond, that's when stoppages get called into question. And you wonder if this fight had taken place in the United States, if the same decision would have been made by the referee. Certainly that question would be raised by a number of people. And uh, this is the first time, especially in light of the fact that it's the first time Joe Calzaghe's ever been down in his career. And I'm not suggesting that he might not have gotten to Byron Mitchell before that round is over. He might have. He was he was doing exceptionally well, but he had also thrown a lot of punches and could still have gotten tired in that round. So it will be debated. So Byron Mitchell's corner led by uh, trainer Albanati, who's been with Mitchell about uh, three years, protesting the... Uh, judgment call by the referee Dave Paris for stopping this fight they think prematurely in the second let's get it up to Jimmy and gentlemen we have the time of two minutes 36 seconds in round number two a referee in charge Dave Paris stops the contest the winner by way of technical knockout he is still undefeated and still the WBO super middleweight champion of the world Joe Kalzaki. So there's the official announcement from our ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. here in Cardiff. And Al, it's interesting, during one of the flurries, I don't know if you uh, may have noticed it, but Kalzaki looked over at referee Dave Paris, hoping perhaps yeah. that he stopped the fight. Yeah, which I thought was astonishing because it wasn't like Mitchell was going down or anything. It was during one of those. Uh, you know, up by the fascinating thing about this performance is it puts to rest some things, but also raises questions because of what might be the quick stoppage of the fight. Enzo, congratulations. One of the wilder finishes we've seen here on Showtime. This is the first time this has ever happened to Joe Calzaghe as an amateur or pro. Gets nailed with a quintessential right hand from Byron Mitchell and he can punch with that fight he gets up shows a lot of grit and determination and a, a lot of composure in many respects by coming back he did it in a wild fashion but he was still able to come back Mitchell left himself open and Calzaghe throwing wide wild punches was able to land against Mitchell that left hand was right on the point of the chin and that put Mitchell down for actually the only time in this round because the second wasn't called a knockdown when he was pushed against the ropes it could have been called instead the referee stopped the fight we'll take a look at where the fight was being stopped Mitchell hit with some major shots here there's no question about that he gets nailed and I believe it would be a punch that will send him against the ropes yep he he gets nailed with big shots and will ultimately be pushed against the ropes. The hand speed of Calzaghe you see very impressive here. And that's what makes Joe Calzaghe special, though he's missing a lot of shots. And you can see Mitchell is wobbled. But you see Mitchell is landing some counter punches as well. And the referee stepping in to stop it. He was really almost pushed against the ropes. I'm not even sure you would call that a knockdown. So this will certainly raise some controversy. And you see Al Benani already trying, starting to debate this with referee Dave Paris, who, by the way, is from London. We'll take a look at the entire second round again in a moment. But first, let's go to Jim Gray with post-fight reaction. All right, Steve, thank you very much. Byron, what happened there? Did you want this fight to be stopped? No, that fight, yeah, I think it was stopped a little prematurely. Uh, I, did, I couldn't get used to the barrage of punches coming at the time. It was just a, a moment before I recovered, though. Um, he was he caught me with some ball. nice. He good. caught me with some nice punches, but uh, I was a little off balance. How did he manage to catch you after you knocked him down? It looked like you were going in for the finish. Yeah, and he I just started went, swinging we wildly. Finish. We went in. I was going in for the walk. finish, and he caught me coming in. Was it a I mistake that you made there? Yeah, I think so. It was uh, carelessness, a little carelessness. Uh, I should have been a little more precautious. I figured he was hurt, and I was just going to finish him off. What did you say to the referee, Dave Paris, as this ended? I think he ended? stopped it a little too soon. Well, the doctor, the doctor soon. in the corner couldn't believe it was stopped. The doctor Al Banani, go ahead. The doctor in the corner said he's okay. I said, I know he's okay, Doc. I, he, they should have given him a little bit more time. This is a world championship fight. There's 20 seconds left in a the round. There's no reason to stop it at that point. I mean, he was okay. 
what do you do from here now, Byron? Uh, you fought a good fight here tonight. You put Galzaghi down for the first time, but you've come to Europe now three times and gone home with nothing. Yeah, I understand that, but uh, hey, you, you got to take your head off to the guy. He's a great gotta champion. Take your head off to you. You did a heck of a job. Yes, I'm not down in myself. I'm not, you know, degrading myself. But right. by the same token, I'm giving him credit where where he's due credit. You can't take anything away from him. He's a great guy. He uh, defended his title successfully, and uh, that's, I'll be back though. I don't did Calzaghi exactly. tell you he'd give you a rematch? No, he didn't, but I don't know. Uh, We're going to talk to in negotiations. Yeah. Well, here, here comes Joe Calzaghi now. Hopefully we can get him in here. If we can get him in here in the next moment. Joe Calzaghi, if you can come on in as he's walking over, we'll ask him right here while you're here, Byron. Joe, congratulations on that fight tonight. First of all, would you give Byron a rematch if we can turn you around to our cameras here? Would you give him a rematch based on the way this was stopped? Um, well, yes, obviously, um, you know, I felt that in the first round, there's six and a half months of frustration, and to be honest, I, I thought I was going to box him because I knew I could catch him with the right hand. But like I did with Brew, I got sucked into a punch, I felt I had, I had the hand speed, and I hurt him a lot in the first round. Tried to open up, but he's got a great chin, I give him credit, he's got a fantastic chin, a champion's heart. In the second round, a slip, man, but no, he caught me with a good punch. And the first, the first time I went down in my professional career. but. You know, you always think what would happen one day if you got put down, yeah, would we respond? And I think I showed the champion's heart, you know, I got straight back up, my equilibrium, my senses, I was more embarrassed than anything, being down for the first time in life. I stood up and I knew, I could see Barry, I knew he'd rush me to try and finish me, so I stepped back, counter punched him and dropped him as well. Then I, I had him shaken, whether the referee should have stopped it, that's up to the referee. Well, you know? that's what I want to ask I, you. I'm You're a, a sportsman, you've always been honest with us, so try and be forth well, right here. Should he have stopped the fight? I'm not sure. That's something. I, I knew. I, I knew he was hurt. Well, but you were looking over, begging the referee to stop. You kind of coached the referee, no, and, and of course I, I, he is from I from Great Britain. Bit, I think he'd be a bit biased, there, man. I think he'd be a bit <laughs> you biased. Did, did you not you look know? over though? Um, well, at the end of the day, I don't like a, you know hurt opponents. I've done the same with Will McIntyre. I dropped him, then I waved the referee in, and I finished in the next round. I, I felt that. I was hurting Byron with, with every shot I was landing. He caught me with one good shot. Do you think that influenced the referee at all, that you did wave him in and look at him? Um, I can't remember actually doing that, but I'll look at the replay. But obviously, Byron is a champion. He's got champion's heart, and nobody likes to take defeat. Simple as. What now for you? What will you well, do? Will you try and the unify idea, the title, or the will idea, you fight Byron yeah, again right well, away? Well, the, the idea of this is to get a big unification fight. You know, Byron, this should have been a unification fight between me and Byron. He should be a two-time world champion. He got ripped off in, in Germany. And I've had to fight another former champion, no disrespect, but you know, I want to win the other belts. I've been champion nearly six years. I, it's about time I get a big, big money fight with Bernard Hawkins. I'll get a unification fight. I've, I've been five former champions. Will champion you come to the United champion. States to do that? Definitely, yeah, definitely. I'm just turned 31, a bit prime of my life. But let's hope that next time I'm not six and a half months out of the ring. I was six and a half months out of the ring and I had a lot of anger in me. And um, maybe I, I took it out too much and I got slippery and I got caught with a great punch. Good puncher, great chin, great art, and I put, take my hat off to Byron Mitchell. Joe, congratulations. Byron, thank you for your time. Thanks very much. All right, Steve, back to you. All right, thank you very much, uh, Jim Gray. Well, as we pointed out earlier in the, in the telecast and Jim referenced during the interview, uh, Calzaghe did look over to referee Dave Paris at one point. It was very interesting. As we look at it, uh, it was when Calzaghe had already not...